we're helping Texas native Andy, who was left devastated when she was ghosted a year ago by Dade. I didn't raise Dade to ghost anybody. Is Dade the father of your child? What? This is MTV's Ghosted. Me and Dade, we met on Tinder February 2019. A week later, around like February 24th, he said, like, let me take you out on a date. Where did Dade take you? He took me to a restaurant called Mango's, but then the girls at the front desk, they were giving me like these mean mug stares. So then I asked him, why are those girls looking at me like that? He said, oh, well, I used to work here. And my ex used to work here also. Did you think it was weird that he took you to Mango's when his ex worked there? I thought it was extremely weird. Do you know who she is? Her name is Ashley. Here is her Instagram. Um, is she a mom? He did tell me that his ex had a baby. By him? He didn't say it was by him. I didn't really think too much into it because we were having such a great time. The date went great, and after that first date, we were pretty much hanging out constantly all the time. Then, like around late March, he said, hey, do you want to come meet my family? That's pretty soon. So when you go to meet his family, who all was there? Dade's mom, Shannon, and then his sister, Allie. We all just got along really well and just hit it off. Take us to the day of the ghosting. It was June 14th, 2019. He had two final tests that he was taking for the firefighter school. After he takes the test, he texts me and says, I failed. I replied back and I said, don't worry about it. Like, you just need to focus more and you'll do great on the next one as long as you study. After I sent that long, sweet message, he doesn't respond at all. Let's see what Ashley is up to today. Let's go to her tagged photos. Hold on one second. That's his sister. Huh. Do you know if his sister was friends with her? Um, I don't know about that. I mean, it says right here that Ashley follows her. Hold on one second. I saw his mom's page. Okay, Ashley follows the mom. What? Your name came up because Dade took her on their first date to Mango's. How long did you guys date? Um, we dated for about a year. We separated about two years ago. Well, I'll ask you this. We saw that you have a beautiful child. I have to ask you, is Dade the father of... No. Okay, do, do you mind telling us a little bit about it? Me and Dave were friends, and then I got pregnant, and then we got together after I got pregnant. So he was there throughout my pregnancy and after I had my daughter, which I'm very grateful to him because he was very supportive and so was his family. How important is family to date? Family is very important. Like anything that you're going to plan, family comes first. He's a mama boy, though. I will say that. How did you and Dade break up? In person. We were in the room, and he just told me that it was over the relationship. That's as far as it could go. I have to ask, he took the time to sit you down and tell you that the relationship was over, whereas with Andy, he just ghosted her. Does this shock you? Yeah, it's shocking. Do you know why Dade ghosted Andy? I don't know. I'm his little sister. Of course, she doesn't want me knowing all of his business. Well, Ali, we've been trying to reach him. He hasn't responded to us. So I think if you could do anything for us, maybe just hit your brother up and be like, hey, they're not crazy people. The only person I could think of, you know, he would really answer is his mom. A girl named Andy he used to date Dade about a year ago, but he ghosted her. And so now she reached out to us because she's trying to figure out what's going on. Okay, but I didn't raise Dade to ghost or Allie to ghost anybody. We've been trying to call Dade. We've messaged him on social media. Do you think that maybe you could call him? Yeah, I can do that. Thank you. Well, hey, I've got MTV on the computer and they are wanting to talk to you. They've been trying to reach you. Dave, can you hear us? Yes. Why do y'all want to talk to you? Andy, who you dated last year. We were hoping that you could maybe tell us why you ghosted her, just to give her that closure that she's looking for. Can you try to figure out what's going on with this uh, ghosting situation? Uh, yeah, um... I think you need to take care of this, okay? Um... No. I'm about to get in the shower right now. 
they are wanting to talk to you. They've been trying to reach you. They've been sending you messages. You've been ghosting them too, actually. Um, Dade, it, it's Travis here. Look, maybe you're open to talk to Andy directly. Uh, Can you talk to them, please? Yeah, that's okay. Um, I should be free tomorrow. Okay, we're looking forward to it. Thank you so much. He's in the waiting room. Ready, girl? <laughs> yes. Shannon. Hi, Shannon. I know the reason Dade ghosted Andy. Dade was in the middle of school and he had failed some tests and tends to get a little, you know, distracted by kind of maybe, um, told him, you know, maybe Dade, you need to just forget about relationships and focus on school right now. Shannon, Shannon, I just want to get this straight. Dade ghosted Andy because of you? Is that what you're saying? Well, I didn't tell him to ghost anyone. I did encourage him to finish, you know, the fire academy and, you know, Andy, I'm sorry if he ghosted you and that's wrong and he needs to face that. I just don't understand why he just can't come talk. To yeah, me. you deserve that, Andy. So I can go get him and see if he, he would talk and settle this. That'd be awesome. Now, I wasn't expecting that, Andy. I was not expecting that either. That's like, really? Oh my gosh. Not once, but twice, you're not hearing from Dave. And in both instances, his mom was involved. It seems to be a running theme here. I don't like that. It's like, grow up. Hi, Andy. You looking pretty? <laughs> <laughs> Well, hello. Hey, hey. I just like, I mean, like I have like strong feelings for you. Did like, you really like ghost me because of like your mom? Yes, uh, I did ghost you because of my mom. Like I had, uh, I was going to the fire academy. I wasn't doing too well. It was kind of hard to juggle two things at once. She gave me all this, uh, advice and words of wisdom and she's been uh, married at a young age and that didn't last too long so i'm gonna take what she has very deeply into my heart so how is your life right now for like a relationship i'm actually enlisting into the military next wednesday i'm leaving for four years four years I just want to know, do you see a future with me? Nah, I guess I don't see a future. Can you at least say why? Yeah, I've had a long distance relationship. If it's not going to work once, why would it work the second time, third time, fourth time? I mean, I'm different. <laughs> from, my from my experience personally, that's just what I've been through. I know I need to focus on me right now. My mom, what she had to say uh, kind of influenced my decision. Okay, so, you know, like, there's nothing wrong with having an amazing relationship with your parents. You know, my mom is my best friend, but she doesn't make life decisions for me. Like, I, like, I, it's sad, like, I have emotion, like, I can feel it, I can feel this coming off through a laptop computer. Like, this, like, this is hard, but, like, I don't. <laughs> well, maybe your mom can come back and give you some answers. Oh. It's decision time, so you guys are gonna have to make a decision. Send your answers at the same time, whether you wanna make up or whether you wanna ghost. Andy, you decided to ghost Dave. He doesn't wanna be with me, and that's just that. It's not personal. Like, she's taking it's like- It's personal because you ghosted her when you were in a relationship with her and then you disappeared for a year from her. I don't want to be with anybody. I do appreciate you taking the time to do this. Thank you so much. All right, thank y'all. Andy, when you go, I don't know, I guess you can ask your mom. I said, oh, you confronted him. And there's a sense of power in that, you know? And now you know exactly what you're looking for in the next relationship and what you don't want. I definitely got the closure that I wanted to know for this whole year. You know, we're just glad that we could help. Hopefully I don't have to call y'all guys again. <laughs>